lagi ini juga hi guys my name is crystal welcome to my youtube channel welcome all subscribers welcome new if you like my videos please press the like button and please do subscribe another hot sunny day here in rochester the sun's out the sun's shining beautiful day um alexa good morning good morning and happy birthday to american actor chris evans apparently he loves to tap dance and knows all the words to the songs in The Little Mermaid. Oh. Alexa, how old is Chris Evans? Chris Evans is 57 years old. Oh, he's around my age, Chris Evans. I've grown up with Chris Evans as well and his black glasses. I like Chris Evans. Um, Alexa, celebrity birthdays. Today's famous birthdays include American rapper O7 O'Shake, American actor Chris Evans, Swedish actor Stellan Skarsgård, English actor Aaron Taylor Olson, and American actress, fashion designer, producer, author, and businesswoman Mary Kate Olson. Right, there must be two Chris Evanses, but I'm talking about the one in Great Britain, Chris Evans, the radio presenter. So there's a Chris Evans in America whose birthday it is today. It's very confusing when there are people with the same name, isn't it? And they're totally different people. They don't look the same, they aren't the same. They're two extremely different people, but they've got the same name. Right, Alexa, what's the time, please? It's 9 a.m. Alexa, what's the, day, uh, the weather like? Alexa, the weather? Currently, in Rochester it's 14 degrees Celsius with clear skies and sun. You can expect more of the same today, with a high of 25 degrees and a low of 11 degrees. That's hot. 25 degrees is hot. It is for June. Wow. Alexa, what's the date today? It's Tuesday the 13th of June. It's going to be this type of weather, isn't it? Really, 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 like cotton shorts and cotton vests and this is the, the set I got in Strood a few weeks ago preparing for this weather no I just wear this in my flat I wouldn't go outside wearing that no way but it's hot inside the flat I've got three fans on three it's extremely hot and this is where arguments happen, isn't it? People get irate with each other because it's heat rage. You get heat rage in this weather. <coughs> Everybody like snaps at each other because they're hot and sweaty. Right, I'm putting the kettle on for a cup of coffee. Alexa, LBC Radio. <laughs> LBC London from Global Player. Indian officials have reported three deaths after a Russian strike on residential buildings in the city of Krivi Ri. Some residents are still believed to be trapped underneath the rubble. Official figures show the unemployment rate fell to 3.8% in the three months to April. That was down from 3.9% in the previous quarter. Pay growth has also accelerated. LBC News business commentator Declan Curry has been looking at the figures. Average wages in February, March and April were 7.2% higher than the previous year. Uh, that's a bigger rise than we saw a month ago. It's one of the biggest increases in recent times. But it's still lower than rising prices. The most recent inflation figure shows prices going up by just under 9% a year. In the city, the FTSE 100 a short time ago was up 16 at 75.87. The pound buys $1.24 and a Euro 16. LBC weather still very hot and dry for most areas today. Scattered thundery showers across the west of Scotland and Northern Ireland, a high of 30 degrees. From Global's newsroom for LBC, I'm Thomas Watts. And little we're always a long price. And now you're to officially be the exit. Right guys, I just put the radio on while I was preparing my coffee. Because 17.5 million of us savvy shoppers at Lidl and start saving today. Now that's big on quality and always Lidl on price. Lidl.com. Like I said, I've just finished preparing my coffee and I'm going to drink it. Um, last night was pretty much the same as every night in this flat. Um, by myself. 
because I'd rather be by myself than with a person that's not good for you. And that is why I'm single, because all the guys I seem to get are the ones that want to use me for money or, or treat me like shit, and I don't want that in my life. And there you are, there's no one there. I'm not bothered. I've got a nice big flat. I've got I've got my lovely dog to keep me company, and I've got plenty of things to keep me occupied. So I'm okay. It's their loss, not mine. Right. Last night I took Max out for a walk, the same as usual, just after seven, and it was a lot quieter than the day before. So there was. I was the only person on, on the field and I enjoyed it, apart from one lady, a younger woman in her 20s with a pair of green leggings on like mine. She had glasses and she was about 20 and that was, and apart from two joggers, two male joggers behind me talking really loudly to each other because they had their earphones on. So they were jogging with music but trying to talk to each other while they were listening to music. So they were shouting in high decibels behind my back, which made, made me realise there were joggers behind my back and that the two male joggers jogged past in their shorts and ran off. Um, so I managed to walk Max around the field and you've got like boy racers opposite, opposite the railings near where the boats dock, uh, screeching their tyres up and down the road. And this is what has happened twice when that Charlie's appeared. All these like, girls in tight clothing, couples walking together, pinching bottoms, and the boy racers screeching their tyres. That's happened about two or three times when that Charlie's appeared on the field. But I, I went out earlier and I missed him and I'm glad I did because you know when you're happy and when you're euphoric I say not because uh, that happens when you, I, I inhaled weed three times yesterday around that Rochester Riverside <coughs> so I inhaled weed in the morning coming into my flat really strong weed and then I'd inhaled weed again, walking Max. And then I, when I was coming back from the field, there was a really large, stocky man with black hair, driving a similar car to the man upstairs, but it was silver, and he stank of drugs, he stank, stank of weed, stank of it. I don't smoke weed, and I don't promote weed either, because I believe any drugs are, are bad for the body, they are, and the brain is your brain and people that drive with, like, when they're smoking drugs are, are terrible because they're not only endangering their lives they're endangering people on the pavement and the street because they're driving under the influence of drugs and that is not that's that's completely illegal that is whether you smoke drugs in your flat is a different matter or even outside but driving under the influence of drugs is terrible how many deaths are caused by drivers drunk and on drugs at the wheel? So, this is what happens, right? This is what happened with my father and what happens. They make an old man, my dad had rotten teeth, his teeth were all green. They make an old man, they, 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 you know, they think I'm my mum, my elderly mother. And they think by sending dirty men with no hygiene, to me, it's funny. And, and this is what my ex was like. He stank. He stank. He smoked. He took drugs. He had no hygiene. And he tried to get in bed to me with me stinking like a dirty dustbin and at one point he had flies hovering all over him. You, don't, you can't expect a woman to get in with, to bed with a man that stinks, has no hygiene and fucking drinks, takes drugs, can you? So this is a piss take on my ex, this Charlie is a piss take 
on the ex I used to go out with. I, re I refused to go anywhere near him towards the end. And then I told him, no, I dumped him. I said, y you know, you... <laughs> You're just treating me like, you're, you're treating me awful. I don't want to be treated like that. And I got rid of him. He didn't get rid of me. I got rid of him. And it takes courage to do that, especially when they're an abuser and a, and a controlling person. It takes courage to get, but these men, that is domestic violence, making themselves stink on purpose. So you've got to get to into bed with an unhygienic, stinky man. I, I've gone through domestic violence courses. That's what they do. They think that's a form of control. It's funny to treat a woman like that. Not only is hitting wrong, but mental torture as well. Because that can sometimes cripple women, especially more when a me man commits mental torture on a woman that is controlling their finances uh, making them do things they w don't want to do uh, getting into bed with them stinking drunk and smelling forcing you to do sex acts it's all domestic violence but the mental torture you're stupid you're silly if you don't do this i'll take the kids away i, I mean i've had that if you don't do as you're told, I'll take the kids off you. I'll put them into care. You, this is how men control women.